Hello, I'm Matt Goff from house.com and this is a 2020 GNU Billy Goat snowboard. This is Tumble Cummins or one of Tumble Cummins kind of like pro model decks that he helped design and influence. This is an all mountain free ride board. Uh, it's kind of meant for the most part to be ridden one direction. Most people who ride the Billy Goat ride it one way. However, you can still ride it switch because this deck is designed for intermediate to advanced level riders. Now, Temple, of course, knows how to ride a big mountain line, knows how to rip in a bank slalom. This is a board that he actually chose for, which is, I think, kind of interesting, specifically for the bank slalom category because it has a fairly large side cut radius. It has a, it's pretty stiff, and it does have a fairly long running length, too. But this is a directional board. Outside the nose's contact point, the nose is longer and taller. Inside the contact, uh, the stance is actually set back three quarters of an inch, just slightly, so not too much. It has a little bit more of a centered style kind of stance to it overall than it, most directional free ride boards have, which is kind of nice because you're not back seat heavy when you're riding it, you kind of charge forward with it. And then you add in like a C3 camera dominant profile. This profile is shaped when you set it on flat ground that actually has a nice style arc. Combine that with like the positioning of where the bindings rest, you have a very kind of forward momentum free ride deck. The C3 profile provides stability while you're on an edge at high speeds, and of course loads of pop at that tail's contact point. The feel and flex rating of the Billy Goat is about a seven, stiffer than your average board. Uh, you know, that's why it's I mean, kind of for that like big mountain style ride. It can be in, it can be ridden of course in, in really deep snow, but it can also charge really hard on corduroy and groomed trails too. Uh, inside is a more lightweight wood core than what you'll find in most GNU decks. It's called the G2 Eco Core. There's two strips of polonia near each edge and the rest of the board's core is basically aspen. There's Biax fiberglass on bottom, Triax fiberglass on top, which gives the board a little bit more energy, and then obviously a sintered base. This is a very wax absorbent style base. I just need to keep it maintained and waxed up throughout the season. And then Magna Traction Edges. Now this is fairly mellow mag. Uh, Magna Traction is seven serrations down that side cut radius that helped to grip on firm snow. Uh, this is a big mountain hard charger. Uh, this is a, again a deck by Temple Cummins. Um, but again, for a directional free ride deck, it kind of has a, a more freestyle oriented stance and kind of feel to it, which is kind of nice for a big mountain deck. Um, this is awesome. You can check it out at thehouse.com by selecting the link below in the description. Leave me a comment or question. Let me know what you think of it. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there. And hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Peace.